Hello, hello. How you doing, guys? It's Keen Lockett. Back at you again with a video on my first time going into elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools here in the Dominican Republic. Really, they have it was basic education, basic school to where um, <clears throat> we call it elementary school. They call it basics, I think. I just noticed it on different children's shirts. They wear uh, the name of the, the, the program they may be in on their shirts. But the school house, everybody from kindergarten to high school, 12th grade, everybody's in one school. And, um, and the way the schools are built here is like brick walls. So you can't see inside the school. You got to drive inside the brick wall. When you get inside the brick wall, um, there's like um, stewardess standing up, opening and closing the gates to the wall because you can't see anything from the outside. You can't see no children. You can't see nothing. Sometimes you don't even see the building. But once you get inside the brick wall, get behind the brick wall, you notice basketball courts and everything that children needs to be children. Well, I went to this to this outreach program with my church. Yes, I joined the church here and joining the church here is amazing. I've been to many churches, Catholic churches, Christian church, but I never felt it. I was like, well, I don't understand anything. I'm just here just going through the motions, you know, although I'm not much of a religious person, but I do uh, subscribe to the teachings of the Messiah, of the Bible. And, uh, and I think uh, Catholic uh, book is relatively a parallel, the same thing. Um, I also read the Quran. So I read a lot of things. You know, I'm always a student for education and I'm always trying to, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> research this culture and, and the traditions here so that I fully understand the people. So if I if I do decide to continue to continue living here, to continue doing business here, to get married here, to raise children here, I understand what, I, what I'm getting involved in before I get involved in it fully. I definitely understand, you know, so I like to uh, do my for research of everything, you know, so going into the school system and the church really taught me a lot. Uh, although I don't understand much, I, I understand Spanish, but sometimes when the songs come on, they're moving fast, everybody's talking fast, you're in the spirit and stuff like that, you don't fully understand what's going on. You hear bits and pieces and stuff, but you can feel. I felt a lot of energy. I felt a lot of spiritual things happening. I felt a lot of, I felt what it was called the, the Ruach, which is Hebraic for the Holy Spirit, you know, because I do subscribe to the African Hebrew Israelites, uh, the Indian Native American Hebrew Israelites as well, um, which are the same people here in this country as well. Um, so we went into the elementary school, the middle school. Uh, we had like students between the, they all came into the cafeteria. We set up and all of that. We was going to perform. They were singing, the choir was singing, and one of the youth ministries was going to uh, 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 teach or preach or whatever he was going to do. But he did do, but everybody set up for that. Uh, I was just there, just, you know, they called me to come along, you know, so I went along. So I, I wasn't singing or doing anything like that, but I was clapping and, you know, uh, and, and just, and just being some, some, some re some source of help, uh, uh, some sort of, of assistance. Because one thing I noticed that the school had prayer in it, the school has religion in it. And these children at a younger age, I understand the Dominican culture now. Even at a younger age, I seen the little, so we had kids from 17 down to six or seven years old all in one, one place. And, and so I saw them holding each other. A bunch of the girls was holding each other, curling each other hair. Like one girl might be holding another girl. A boy might be holding a girl. A girl might be holding a boy. Everybody's you know, very affectionate, passionate, emotional people here. And this is how they all held each other. They all held hands. They wiped each other's tears. I never saw so much crying, so much when the guys were singing the songs and, and they was preaching and talking. Then he was a younger youth guy. He wasn't no old pastor preacher. The pastor was there, but they had the eight, the, the, the 20-year-old preaching, the 21, 22-year-old speaking about Christ or whatever. And these kids were just, a lot of them was crying. You know, you had your little play-play jokers in the back that were you know, just waiting in the back, just, you know, just there. But I say over ninety five percent of everybody had tears in their eyes and it was crying. So I was passing out tish, napkins to everyone. Um, uh, the kids started walking up. They'll grab me, hug me, hold on to me. They'll hold on to uh, the other people of my church. Everybody was just holding on to a kid. You know what I'm saying? A lot of children actually. 
and, and it's just how it was the teachers kissing the kids on the forehead, you know, and, and it was a very, I seen I, what I learned about that was if America would have kept prayer religion in the school like that, no matter what the religion is, but kept prayer in you could you could tell the kids don't like one kid have a dysfunction in the body or the way he talk or something. You could tell the kids don't just pick on each other, pick, 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 and laugh and joke and bully each other. The kids actually embrace each other. I actually know a girl with hair growing out her forehead. So her hairline goes like half her head is all hair. From here on up, it's all hair, like right here. It's all right here. Not on, um, but it starts on the right here. But she told me, even as a kid, Everybody embraced it. Everybody was like, hey, I'm kissing her. You're a beautiful girl. Like, even as elementary, middle school. So, even now, when she's on TikTok, when she's on Instagram or YouTube, she's always throwing her hair. She's drop dead gorgeous. It just, she just have that little hair stuff going on. But she's always flaunting her face and she's, she's never hiding it. So, but I can imagine if she went to America, she went somewhere else, you know, the people would probably pick on her, joke on her. You know, ah, look at look at this, look at that, you know. But here it's not like that. And I can tell that's how it is, even at a young age. So now I understand that when you as foreigners or we as foreigners here, and we and we and I notice that when I get in a taxi, I may be with a Dominican woman, and I may get in a taxi, the taxi driver may talk to me, but as soon as she says something, they're attentive, they're listening, because they're not just that they're a nationalist, which they are, they're just that since childhood, they know the foundation that they grew up on. The foundation is usually truth with each other, especially. And we're not going to just come harm you, harm you. And I'm talking about each other, the way they do each other. They're not going to just harm each other unless it just got to be that way. Although there's a lot of crime that go on, that's love crimes, but I'm starting, it ain't like America where we just robbing, killing, stealing, blowing each other up, police killing people. Everybody is just so crazy in America, you know, uh, and that's one of the reasons I left America, not for women. I left America because I was tired of the judici judicial system and also the government biasness and race and racism. Um, so but I see how. Things is just done here. I'm learning now, like, OK, to fully understand, you got to go to the root. You got to, you know, not, those of you that have kids here, you know, you've learned something from dealing with your child here, the way the children are raised and dealing with the schools and elementary schools and actually being a part of the school system. So now I'm a part of many outreach systems and I've been doing a lot of outreach business and going into different communities in the past two weeks, especially like, so I, I definitely get a better look and it's a beautiful thing. So I'm encouraging you guys when you come visit, you know, if, a lot of you guys don't have the amount of time that I have to actually go into these type of locations, environments, and these situations and just build and bond with people, you know, as I do and as I can, you know. But one thing I can say, man, is that it's a beautiful thing. I'm happy to be a part of it. This is a very beautiful country, a very beautiful culture. When you take the gringo and the foreigner away from the, 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 the mindset, you understand what I'm saying? Because didn't nobody know I was really American until after the fact I started talking. I had my mouth closed. That's why the kids was embracing me. When I started talking, it was like, oh my God, you don't understand. I was like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't understand, you know, but I don't want to pray for you right now because I need to be baptized or something because, you know, <laughs> my hands was dirty. So why don't you just go over there, you know, but, um, but all jokes aside, um, it, it was, a, it was a great situation, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. And I will be showing videos and photos also of uh, the next time we go to um, the school system. I actually have a person that actually took a lot of videos. You know, I didn't take videos because I was busy doing my work with the, with the youth. Um, but uh, there was someone who was filming and then he said he's so busy he hasn't sent me any messages yet. But I'm going to see him Sunday when I go to church and then we'll talk then. I get everything. I get at least a few videos to show you guys. Uh, so, yeah, man, um, uh, I met a lot of beautiful children that, um, you know, that, that clung to me because, you know, uh, uh, not only because I'm American, because, you know, uh, uh, they, they could relate to me in some type of way. Maybe I don't know. Um, on the most high was through me uh, with chemistry. He used me for my chemistry to pull Lord and man, because when I went to church, when I went to church that following Sunday, I had a group of kids and I'm like, hey, you know, it's. 
they basically just they basically was there to see me. And you know, of course, get the word of the, the the word of the day, you know. But they all sat down with me, and we all took pictures and photos and stuff like that. Um, it was a beautiful thing, man. I told a few of the guys, the younger boys, it's like maybe eight or nine years old, that if they came to church, of course, we'll go play some basketball. So right now, we gotta get some basketballs together. Uh, so uh, yeah, because the neighborhood don't have any basketball. So this particular neighborhood, we got basketballs. I got, I personally got basketballs, two basketballs for the other, other, other neighborhood. But it's this, this neighborhood that I'm, that I'm dealing with now, working with now, I'm going to go play with them. They need balls. So I'm going to get some basketballs for them as well. Um, so that's all I want to say. They're going to turn this music up right now. They got this. Today is Good Friday. We're here. It's Holy Week, Semana Santa. Easter is Sunday. So they celebrate every day here from Monday to Sunday. Something about, Christ and the resurrection and stuff like that the whole week so now this is Friday so the whole, everything is closed nothing is open you hear a bunch of music you smell a bunch of food in the air you smell the culture you smell the culture like I am I am in the midst of the culture I am so far from tourism it's crazy I'm way far from tourism um, from any type of American type of attraction that you would want to see I'm way I'm far away from that so um, you guys take it easy. I hope you like this video. If there's anything that I can uh, help you with as far as traveling, uh, trying to transition here, please feel free to hit me up on Instagram at DM me on Instagram at number one K I N G underscore locket. Number one K I N G underscore locket. I have no problem with responding. Also, if you want to donate, you can donate at Cash App dollar sign K I N G seven four fourteen dollar sign K I N G seven four fourteen. Hey guys, stay tuned for my next video. And uh, hey, uh, I'll be dropping soon. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share. Leave a comment in the comment column of what you would like for me to react to. I'll do a reaction video too. I will do it. Also, uh, share the video and tell me what you like about this video and your first time going to church in the Dominican Republic or in, in, in any country. What was your experience like? Okay, peace.